Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, I am going to be giving my Acer Aspire Revo R1600 a memory upgrade. Here's what it looks like. Go ahead and zoom you in a little bit. I'll tell you a little bit about this little net top computer. Um, it does have a Atom processor. It's a 230 processor running at about 1.6 gigahertz. It comes with a 160 gig hard drive has only one gig of RAM and 128 megs of that RAM is used for the integrated NVIDIA graphics, the ION graphics, which are quite good for a net top that's priced at an unbelievable low price of 200 bucks when I purchased this, but it's probably not available anymore, but there are some other Acer Aspires out there, and what's relevant about this video is it is possible to upgrade these little machines with some RAM. This is a gig of RAM. I was able to purchase it on Newegg for the unbelievable low price of $18, and that's with shipping. So, since this only has Windows XP, you know, going over 3 gigs um, is not going to really do you any good as far as 32 bit Windows XP. You know, I'll go ahead and kick it up. So give it about 2 gigs, and of course, you know, graphics are going to take 128 megs, but this is the best thing I could do to speed this up right now. It's, it's pretty slow. So I'm going to show you some tricks on how to crack open these type of little netbooks without doing any damage to the case. Because I've seen some people put screwdrivers to them. Not a good idea. I'll show you how to do it a little bit uh, cleaner, safer, and not mar up your, your nice little net top. By the way, these little net tops, even, even this bottom of the line one, is an outstanding choice to make a little uh, multimedia machine just to stream some video and stream some music to your TV set. This does have an HDMI out. You can like stick it to the back of your TV, totally out of sight, and you can make it a little media server for a computer. So. It does a pretty good job of that, however, it doesn't do really good for going to YouTube and streaming videos that use Flash. Flash really bogs it down, but for streaming for a whole, ne whole network, you know, from your media server, um, things like that, it does an outstanding job. So, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down, and I'm going to bring it to my workbench here, and we're going to go ahead and get this RAM in. This little net top really is a nice looking laptop or uh, net top. The one issue with this, which it's not made anymore so it really doesn't matter, is it's a little shaky on the base. You can tighten that screw as much as possible. It's always going to sort of shake. The newer versions of this, which are the dual core processor versions, they changed the base and corrected that issue because a lot of people complained about it. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and remove the screw that's holding the base. You go ahead and do that. And we'll set the base aside. Next thing you want to remove this screw that was under the base. You can see it right here. And we'll set that aside. Now, the problem is we got to get this open and what I've seen a lot of people do is they get a screwdriver and they jam it into this seam right here. This, there's, this is the cover and there's a seam that goes along right in here. You see that seam? And if you put a screwdriver in there and turn it, it'll, it'll get it open but it will mark up your computer. So what I recommend is using a awards, ro uh, rewards card or a, a credit card that you don't intend to use. Any kind of credit card type of card and work it in here. Now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be trying to pop little plastic clips that are inside. So you want to work the card into that seam and pop the clips as you go around. So I'm going to work this in here. I'm going to bring the camera down just a little bit so you can so to see me get this worked in there it's not the easiest thing in the world especially trying to do it in front of the camera you know I did this yes I did a test run there we go so I got that in there and then we'll just you hear that that pop 
I'm going around here and I'm pushing those clips. You heard the next one go. Alright, so we got that one. And really got to go around the other way because <laughs> this thing here. So we'll work around the other way. There goes another clip. Work this around. It would help if I kept the camera on the subject, huh? There goes another one. See? And since this is a soft plastic card, it's not going to damage your case in any way. And you can safely pop all your clips. See? Real nice. And just to give you an idea of what you're doing when you're popping those clips, you're you're pushing these little plastic tabs in. So as you're going around, you're sort of pushing these tabs in. See that tab right there? <laughs> give you all the views here. So that's what you're doing. You're working around and you're pushing that tab in to release them. So here's what the inside of a little net top looks like. Basically it's a desktop with nothing but laptop parts to make it very compact. Now luckily they were nice enough to give you that one gig of RAM that's already installed in one of the slots. So you have an empty slot so you could just pop another stick in there which is nice. I've seen some computers where they'll fill them up with like two 512's and then you're gonna have to buy two single sticks uh, you know like two one gigs to get up to two gigs and it costs you twice as much so we'll go ahead and get this open we'll try to get this open I am uh, biased to Kingston RAM it's never let me down however I've seen Corsair RAM go bad. I've seen Corsair memory actually the only memory I've ever seen go bad was Corsair. I'm not saying Corsair memory is bad it's just my luck. Now what you want to do is um, try not to touch any of the contacts or or anything on the memory. The memory is the most static sensitive um, component inside a computer so it, if at all possible don't touch the contact. Some people still wear those grounding straps and ground themselves which is a good idea but um, I'll just be careful. Now bringing you in here a little bit closer again it's gonna make my job a little tougher working around here there is a little key, I guess you would call it, to keep your memory from going in the wrong way right here. And you see right here, there's a key. So I want to turn this around so it's mated. You see how I make sure that little notch is lined up with that notch in there. Uh, here's the notch in the memory. There's the notch in the socket. So I'm going to go ahead and work that in there. And we'll go ahead and push it. And you see how it pushed in. And then you're going to go ahead and once you get it pushed in at this particular angle, let me show you the angle that it's at. Then we'll go ahead and press down and it will clip. And these two clips here will come down on the memory. So it looks like it's in. Really good looks straight everything is good to go so that's it that's all it takes to really upgrade RAM in uh, a net top computer such as this uh, Aspire Revo and uh, it's similar with laptops it's easier with a laptop because you usually just turn the laptop over upside down and on the base you just remove a panel and you do the same thing because this is laptop memory the memory in the Revo is uh, DD DDR2 and it's uh, the 800 megahertz variety non-ECC cheap stuff again this costs $17 with a dollar shipping really cheap at 
one of my favorite places to get components which is Newegg. I also sometimes will check Tiger Direct to see if they have any better deals. Um, let me go over some components while we're sitting in here. We'll go ahead and have some fun. Just uh, if you've never seen the inside of a, a computer before, really quick, you, you this is the, the CMOS battery. CMOS stands for Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor, but basically this powers a chip on the motherboard that allows it to maintain time, maintain um, settings for the hard drive and basic in-out functions, you know, basically, you know, keep track of heartbeat, the lack of a better term, just some of the basic functions. Again, this is your RAM, your ran random access memory, and this is your 160 gig hard drive in this case. It is a laptop drive. It's rather small. And if you want to remove this, you have to take the whole motherboard out because the sc it's screwed in from behind the motherboard. So you'd have to remove the whole motherboard to get that hard drive out. And under this fan is the processor, which is an Atom uh, single core processor. Now you also have a mini PCI slot right here so if you wanted to add let's say a mini PCI um, Wi-Fi card you can instead of using an external this particular model did not come with a Wi-Fi card but you also have to make sure that you ran the wires for the antenna and it, it's just easier just to pop a USB uh, Wi-Fi on this in this case so you know th those are the basic components of most computers and that's really it so we'll go ahead and pop this back together and we'll see how much of a difference uh, $18 makes. Now the other single improvement that you can make to this that would uh, get you a lot of speed increase is to replace this hard drive with a faster hard drive. And this year you're going to see the prices of flash or, or uh, solid state drives really drop and those solid state drives are incredibly fast compared to your conventional you know platters that spin type of drives the ones that you know spin <laughs> so I'll go ahead and just put this back on here and all you do is just press and everything clips you might have to line things up just a little bit just run your fingers around And that's it. That, that is a basically a RAM RAM upgrade. And hopefully it'll make a big difference. I mean you're really giving it over twice the amount of memory since some of that original one gig was take, taken by the graphics. So you just gave it another gig. So that's uh, technically it's, it's getting even more than twice as much here. I'm going to go ahead and back you up because you're too close and you can't see nothing. I'm just putting the base back on. And again, you could tighten this down to the point of breaking it and you'll still never get the rocking out of this. So don't, just don't even try it. It's always going to rock a little bit. That's uh, one of the cons to this machine besides, you know, it's a slow entry-level machine it's good for um, a person who would just be cruising on the internet not doing anything big other than you know going to eBay and and um, doing some word processing and and you know basic office kind of stuff it's fine for that um, good for a high school student you know if you're strapped for money and you need to your kid needs a computer and you already have a spare monitor, keyboard, and mouse. You could just get something like this, these little net tops, and they could fit the bill rather inexpensively. Uh, inexpensively, so. So we got everything hooked up, so we'll go ahead and hit the button.
So there we go. I don't know if that was remarkably faster as far as boot up is concerned. So, but I don't know if that's a good example to show that it really made a big difference or not. Really, what it comes down to is as you're using the machine and, you're, and if you use applications that utilize memory, um, if there's not enough RAM in there, it's going to have to swap RAM onto the hard drive. So it's going to have to you know, access the hard drive, write a bunch of data to it, and sort of hold it there while it makes room in RAM for other programs to operate. And that slows it down because your hard drive is a lot slower by a factor of like thousands than your RAM. So you um, don't want memory swapping to the hard drive. It definitely slows things down. You want to just make sure you have enough RAM in there. Um, XP for rule of thumb, you never want less than a gig. Um, for for Windows XP 32, you um, don't need more than three gigs because Windows XP 32 can't access more than 3.2 gigs. Um, two gigs is enough for a machine like this, but uh, definitely better than one. And really, all you need. And again, if you're strapped for money, these little net tops two three hundred dollars. You can get the dual cores now, probably no more than three hundred dollars. Um, they already come with more memory and I think the new ones do come with Windows 7 so pretty good deal Look, ch check out the Acer Aspire net tops remember you're not going to get any kind of groundbreaking speed out of these things uh, you know they are for basic computing needs so I'm going to try to relax for the rest of the day here or the rest of the evening it's been a rough day at work, as usual. And um, again, I'd like to thank viewers and subscribers and friends for stopping by again here at the Gear Obsession channel. I hope you're enjoying the computer side of my channel. Um, uh, hopefully, I'll be getting out and shooting soon. Again, also, I'd like to thank police and firemen and other. Uh, public servants out there as long as you're, you're not as long as your union ain't stealing all my money <laughs> um, you know there are good unions and they're bad unions and there's good people and there's bad people and there are good politicians and there's bad politicians judge the person by their actions um, I heard a good saying the other day and I was waiting for an opportunity to use it but uh, what the hell, we'll just do it now. Your actions speak so loud, I can't hear what you're saying. And that should apply for a lot of things in life. Judge people by their actions, not by the words coming out of their mouth. Thank you, and have a great evening.